I, I remember uh, being interested in science from my earliest years. The specific thing I, I remember is having a really good uh, high school chemistry teacher, Mr. Fitzgerald. I was one of those people that just loved chemistry, which is, which is not that uh, common a thing. I ended up pursuing chemistry uh, as an undergraduate. I ended up at MIT in, in 1979 was initially kind of discouraged because I, I didn't see any projects there that particularly interested me. Then I met Chris Orvig, who is a uh, chemistry professor here at UBC now, looking at the chemistry of technetium. And I remember uh, talking to Chris and seeing these uh, images of uh, rats that had been injected with this radioactive tracer and thinking that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. And so as a graduate student, uh, I was working on a project that was very soon go, uh, going into human testing, I ended up uh, synthesizing the uh, class of compounds that became a uh, diagnostic imaging agent called Cardiolite. A very clear uh, push for me to get into uh, medically related uh, research. The two things that I'm most proud of in my career was the invention of the uh, compounds leading to Cardiolite and, and the founding of Anermed. I was CEO of that company during that period inherited a fairly robust uh, IP portfolio from Johnson Matthey. Uh, pretty much none of that worked. One of the drugs which was originally a, uh, developed as an HIV drug it turned out to have um, interesting properties for mobilizing uh, hematopoietic stem cells. The development of Mosabil was a, was a tremendous achievement and a privilege of being able to lead that team for 10 years was probably the, the you know, my most significant uh, task in my career. And it was a, it was a terrific company.